welcome back to the channel in this video we will be discussing about the last problem of today's weekly contest naming a company the problem states that you are given an array of string ideas and you have to find out how many distinct name valid name of the company you can form so what is a valid name of company a valid name of company is you choose two distinct name from this ideas array you swap the first two like first character of the first string and the first character of second string and if after swapping these characters let's say the string becomes idea a and idea b and if idea a and idea b doesn't exist in original ideas array then you will say that it can like the concatenation of this idea a and idea b can form a valid company name so let's try to understand this with an example so this let's say this uh, is the ideas array that we are given coffee donuts time or toffee and what it says is a valid company name can be formed by choosing two string from this ideas so let's say you choose coffee and donuts so now if you choose coffee and donuts what the next step next step is to swap the first character of these two strings so coffee will coffee will become doffy and donuts will become conuts right like you, you swap the first characters now you check whether doffy exists in this array or not and then you check do, whether conuts exist in this array or not so in in this particular case neither doffy nor donuts uh, nor conuts exists in this array so that's where this is a valid company name now similarly let's say if you have chosen this time and toffee then you can see if you replace this t and t like the first first character of this with first character of that you will be getting time here and toffee there like nothing will change right so now time actually exist in this array so that's where these two string can't form a valid company name so now how to solve this so if you look at it in the brute force manner what you have to do you take each and every pair and just simulate whatever you are whatever is uh, whatever has been asked from you so you take each pair of strings swap the first character of these and see if after swapping both the string exists in the idea or not if they are not just increment the count so on a high level you will be doing this for each pair you will just swap you will get si dash and sj dash and if you will check if si dash and sj dash exist in ideas if they are not you will just increment the answer so that's your algorithm what will the time complexity because you are iterating over each pair of string so your time complexity would be order n square right so order n square complexity would not pass because n itself is 5 into 10 to the power 4 so now you like we are clear that we need something better like we can't actually iterate over each of this possible uh, pairs of strings okay so now we need to somehow group some of these n square operations into a single operation and see if uh, we can uh, we can skip iterating over all this pair in the first place itself okay so let's see how to do that now first of all let's uh, focus on this statement that is given to us that we have to swap the first letter of idea and idea b, uh, of idea and idea b right like you take the two string idea a and idea b you just swap first letters so if you swap first letter does it matter that how many strings are there like uh, you have a string that has let's say a uh, three letter okay now you only have to change this letter right so even if there are thousands of string you can only form at max 26 different strings by just changing the first character right so that's the idea of grouping let's uh, let's see this in action let's say uh, this is your ideas array okay so this a a a b and uh, b c a this is the idea array now as you know like you will try grouping them with each of the pairs so let's uh, this a a will group with ab bc aba bd and all this now when this a will group with ab it we will swap the a with this a so the because this is this both are a so nothing will change a and ab will come now you will swap this a 
with this B, right? So this will become BA and this will become AC. So BA and AC. Similarly, you will swap this B with this A, BA and A. You will swap this B with this A and this B with A. So BA, AA. Similarly, BA, like this will become BA again because this is B and this will become AD. And similarly, this, this will become CA and this will become AH. And last one, CA and AK. Now, if you look at closely, you like despite you have tried these like these all strings, you only get three distinct strings, right? Like A, B, A, and C, A, right? You don't get uh, like there are seven of the strings, but you only get three uh, because like there because others you get the same strings. So what the idea here is. Instead of trying each of this combination, what if you to you ask something like, "Hey, I know I uh, I will change this A to B. Now tell me how many strings are there, such that because you have changed this A to B, right? Like you have changed this A to B. Okay. So because you have changed this to B, so you have to choose a string that will start with B, right? So you have to choose a string that will start with B and you have to make sure that after changing the first character of that string to A, that should not exist in the final array. So for example, here you say you get this BA and AC, right? So this BA and AC will not form a valid uh, pair because BA actually exists in the original string. Similarly, this BA and AA will again not form a valid pair. This BA and A will again not form a valid pair. Now this CA and AH will form a valid pair and this CA and AK will again form a valid pair. So basically what you are trying to do is you will see, you will ask that, okay, I am swapping this A with B. Now tell me how many strings are there, which starts with B because you have to swap the first letters of that, right? So there are two strings. The first string is A, A. And there is one more string, let's say this. So you have to swap these two characters, right? So you are saying that I will, this will become B. So if this will become B, then surely this was B, right? So you have to find all the strings that starts with B. And because after you re reverse the characters here, this will become A because Previously, this was A and this was B. Now this will become B and this will this will become A, right? So you have to you have to find a string that will start with B, and that if I if you replace A there, then also it will it should not exist in the array. So what your problem is now? You will like instead of uh, trying every possible combination, you will only try unique combination. And how many unique combinations are there? Twenty six unique combination for a, for a given string, right? Because you only you are only changing the first letter. So there are you only 26 unique, unique combination. So you, what you will say for each unique combination, give me the count of string that uh, that will form a valid string with me. So what you are saying for each character that will start with small ch, okay, uh, you will replace this with capital ch, like where capital ch is any character from A to Z, like this are the 26 possible uh, strings that you can form. Now, you will check whether after replacing whether it exists in ideas or not. If it uh, if it exists in idea, you will just continue because you are you are sure that after replacing this ch with this ch, it exists in idea. So the first one itself. So basically, there are two strings, right? So the first one itself exists in idea. So there is no need to go for the second one. Now, if it doesn't exist in ideas, then what you are saying is. I have replaced the first character with this capital CH. So there is a there like currently the string is this. Now what you are saying is I have replaced this with capital CH. So there should be a string that will start with capital CH. Okay. And you if you replace this with small ch, then also this string will should not exist in the array. Then also then only it is a valid string. So what you have to find is how many strings are there which start with capital CH and after replacing with small ch that should not exist in the original ideas array.
and let's say this value is cnt so you will just increment your answer by cnt so here what you have done basically is instead of iterating over n square combination now you are iterating over this like which this is n and this is 26 you are iterating over 26 into n combination and for each 26 into n combination you want this value so let's see how we can calculate this value so this is what we want right we want how many strings are there which start with capital ch and replacing the character with small ch doesn't exist so how many capital ch and small ch are there like you have to answer this many times right for each string you have to answer this right like for each n into 26 combination for each 26 n combination you have to answer this thing where ch small ch and capital ch will change over time so how many of this are there at all like 26 square right because like there can be 26 possible capital ch and 26 possible small ch for this example let's say there are only three there is there is only three small ch and there is only three capital ch so now you have this array given to you right now how you will fill this matrix you know the first letter is the, the first string is a so what exactly you want like what exactly you want here you want all the strings count of strings that will start with a and after replacing it with a it will it should not exist in array so for sure a comma a will be zero because if it starts with a and if you want to replace it with a itself surely it will exist in the array right similarly b comma b will be zero and similarly c comma c will be zero now what you want you you want the like you you are we are calculating this one so you want the strings which starts with a and after replacing it with b the resulting string should not exist in the array so what you want is a string that will start with a and even if you replace it with b this new string should not exist in the array so let's take this string one by one so let's say uh, you want the string that will start with a right so let's let's say the first string let's take the first string so a so this is starts with a so it it satisfies this row now you let's say you you repl you try replacing it one by one so you are filling this row first so you take this string which starts with a now you replace it with b so you get ba right so you will check if ba exists in this array it exists right so you will not increment it so that is still zero now you will what you will do you will now replace with c ca did ca exist no so you will increment this with one basically what you have done what you have just said is you have found a string that starts with a and after replacing it with c it doesn't exist in the array so that's where you increment this particular piece now you take the second string because you have already covered all the three possible scenarios we are currently saying that there are only three characters but in original question like there can be 26 characters so now a b so again a starts with a now replacing it with b let's let's try to replace uh, b, with b so b b did b b exist in the array no so we will increment this because you find a string that starts with a and replacing it with b doesn't exist in the array now let's replace it with c you will you will get c b right again cb doesn't exist in the array so you will increment this okay now let's go to the third string bc so it starts with b let's try to replace it with a you will get ac that's ac exist in the array no so you will increment it by one now you will replace it with c you will get cc that cc exist in the array no so you will increment this by one basically what you are saying with cc what you are saying is you you are currently working on a string that starts with b so basically you are on the row 2 now you are changing this to c which means that you just found a string that starts with b and replacing it with c doesn't exist in the array so you just increment this particular piece so hope you got the intuition how to fill this matrix you just iterate over this one by one and just try every possible combination for each string and if it exists in the array just increment the corresponding count now you when you once you have this basically you have this answer for every possible small ch and capital ch so actually we have solved the problem what we have done just like uh, with uh, this we will get the value of count matrix like count matrix for all small ch and capital ch 
now if you remember our solution was you will you will uh, uh, iterate over the string and uh, you will try to we will try all possible combination they right you will try all possible combination now you will see if replacing it with replacing this particular uh, character like this particular string which starts with ch with this capital ch exists in the array if it exists you will continue otherwise you will just add this cnt of small ch comma capital ch basically what you are saying is i want us i want to find number of string that start with small ch okay and uh, okay so this should be sorry this should be capital ch and this should be small ch so this is just reversed so basically what you are saying is you want you want to count the number of strings that start with small ch because you had just replaced it with uh, small ch that start with small ch and after replacing it with small sorry that start with capital ch and after replacing it with small ch it doesn't exist in the array so that's what you have added it here so this is your like this result will then contain your answer so what is the time complexity uh this loop will be iterated over n times this is 26 now here what you are so say what you are doing is you are checking whether string exists in the array that is order one time if you use uh, unordered set uh, notice that it will, like you will be requiring order m time the length of the string because actually you are uh, checking the string exists in the array right so you you will require this 10 you like in worst case you can require 10 unit of time but just ignoring that so you will be requiring order one time to just check whether it exists in the array and then this is order one operation just adding one integer to another integer so in total this is n into 26 now let's try this one as well so here also what you are doing is you are iterating over each string that is n then you are trying all possible combination that is again 26 and then you are checking with exists in the array again order one operation so final time complexity is n into 26 so this again this order one is not actually order one this is actually order m where m is the size of the string because comparing two string cannot be done in order one time so you have to iterate over the string at least once so that's why it is all, so final complexity is n into m into 26 so hope you get the solution uh let's just quickly look at the code to clarify it bit further so i added every string to an unordered set just to make the lookups faster after that uh, as we have discussed like we will first populate this cnt array okay so this cnt array we are populating in the same way we iterate over each string uh we find out the starting index of each string when we then find out the left the Uh, the string of af after the starting index now we iterate over each of these characters we replace the first character like the first character of this string was this start we replace this start with ch so we start we, we form a string that will start with ch and have all the leftover characters now we'll see if uh, if x exists in the array or not if it doesn't exist then what you have just found is you have just found a string that starts with this character and after replacing it with this character it doesn't change uh, it doesn't exist in the array so basically you just increment cnt of start comma ch now at the end you like this will give you the cnt array now, now you will uh, you will do this part wherein you are try iterating over each string again you replace it with the first character now you are forming the string and if it exists in the array you will continue otherwise you will just add this uh, ch comma this Like, like this ch is the new character that you are replacing it with and this is the old starting character so hope you got the solution if you have any doubts or question in this solution please post them in the comment section below i will be happy to answer if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you like the channel do subscribe i will be posting regular videos for lead code so do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you